Hey everyone, my name is Sean Hodgins and welcome back to my channel. So if I haven't reminded you enough, I've got a Kickstarter going on right now for the HTC module. It's a easy to solder little Arduino module. Go and check it out. And as I mentioned, over the course of the Kickstarter, I'm going to be releasing open source projects that you can use the HTC module on. And I've already released one, so this is the second one. It's like a little gaming controller slash gaming system where you can make games and it's kind of like the RG Boy. Pretty similar, basically the same thing. It's got a joystick on it and all that stuff. So let's get one built, super easy to build. And then we'll program a game and show you how the game controller works. Let's go. So I think I've done enough assembly videos for these things. You guys get it. Solder paste, all the buttons. Super easy to put on, shove it in the oven, wait for it to reflow, it's good to go. So let's skip ahead to when it's already finished and then we'll have more time to program a game and turn it into a gamepad for your computer. Alright, cool. It's got a little OLED screen, four buttons, joystick, the HTC module, you can actually put a battery on it, but I've left it off for now while we develop it. All right, let's build a game for it. Okay, so yes, we have the Mod Boy assembled. We have it plugged in, and I just wrote the simplest game I could think of. It's called Bubble Burst. Basically, you're a ball. You're like a bubble thing floating around in, in weird particles, and you've got to absorb the other ones and grow bigger until you basically take over everything. Sounds really simple. It's a cool demonstration of what you can do. So I'll go through it so you can see what's happening in the code and I'll show you how the game works and how you play. I've got some libraries to do some things here, math, um, the usual ones for the OLED and we're using the UAG2 library. That's what runs the OLED on here. This is just for the logo see the mod boy logo that's what that is and you can create logos by creating a bitmap image that are 64 by 48 then you can get a program that will convert them into the bitmap and i think i've shown that before in another video so then i define the pins on the mod boy so so the start pin the select pin uh the a see these are labeled on here a b x y those are all the pins then we got the two analog pins for the joystick uh, this guy, pretty cool. Joystick is working, so we define those. Mode, this is a switch where if you want to change the game mode, middle of the game. And then here we define the play area, so I just defined it as 512. That's how big the box is that you're allowed to move around in. And then this is the size of the OLED, obviously. Here we're declaring the OLED pins on the Mod Boy. So these are the pins here. So this is the clock, data, CS, DC, and reset in that order. That's how you use the uh, U8G2 library. So we're going to define some things for the the character. That's who you are. That's who you're playing. So you start as a radius of two, and you start right in the middle of the board, kind of in a random. I don't know why I picked those. Um, then you've got these acceleration things. That's just to give some better motion of when you're playing the game instead of just moving like robot. You've actually got like smooth motion. Then there's the game settings. So then there's the enemy count. That's how many other bubbles there are in the system uh, that you have to try and absorb. And if they're bigger than you, then they kill you. And then here's the joystick position. This is the particles. These are like not bubbles, but you eat them to get bigger. And you have to eat 10 of them to grow one size. Whereas if you eat another bubble, you just have to eat one. You grow one size in radius. This is defining the font for the beginning, and then we start the serial and define the pins. Oh, then we kind of calibrate the, the middle of the joystick. So if you don't touch it, then it calibrates that to the middle. Then we place random particles all around the board, and then we place random enemies with random uh, radiuses, and also their position, and if they're alive. Same with the particles, because if you eat them, then they're dead but the enemies can come back, the particles can't. So there's also a time that'll, a timer that'll start when you kill an enemy. 
We attach an interrupt to start the game. So then we draw the logo. It just goes straight into this. And it just says bubble burst, like on here. So it's waiting, it's waiting, and then you hit select and the game starts. And the game is going, as you can see. And this is where the game is constantly playing in the loop. So it keeps, this is the game screen that keeps refreshing. So we read both of the joysticks. This is the gameplay routine. We read both of the joysticks. And this is what gives it the acceleration. So when you're moving around, if you let go of the joystick, you slow down. So then we constrain that so it doesn't go crazy and go super fast. And the character is always in the middle. So what you're doing is you're actually defining where all the particles are in reference to where the character is. And that's what all these are for. So first we'll go through the enemies and we'll display all them. But we're only going to display the ones that are on the screen. There's ones all over the place. But we do these two if statements to make sure that we only display the ones that will show up on the screen. And so if the enemy is alive and it's on the screen, that's what these two do, then calculate where it is in reference to the middle because that's where the middle player is. And then you draw the enemy as a circle. I made this routine called check contact, which will check to see if the two radiuses, if they're touching. So if the distance between the two points is less than the two radiuses combined, check contact, it just determines if the circles are too close together, then that means they're touching, and then it compares them to see if you're bigger or if the enemy is bigger. And if the enemy is bigger, then you're dead. Dead animation. Just shows you exploding, it says game over. And then if you're bigger, then you actually grow in radius by one. And the enemy is dead, which means it sets the enemy dead to zero. The enemy's stat telling it zero, and then it takes the timer, and it will respawn in five seconds. So after five seconds, it'll respawn somewhere randomly on the board. And this is the respawn right here. So it'll just see if, I, if here's the time, if it's greater than five seconds, 5,000 milliseconds, then randomly place it on the board somewhere with a new random radius, and set to it alive, and then set the timer back to zero. Now we do the particles, because there's particles all over the place. Again, we see if the particle's alive, and if it is, we see if it's on the OLED around the character. And if it is around the character, then we see how close it is to the character, and we draw it on the screen. We have a second contact checking, which is simpler because it's just a point instead of a radius. And it checks to see if it's inside the circle, and if it is, then it gets eaten. And if it's eaten, then you add to this stat called eat particle, which goes up. And when that, that gets to 10, then you grow in a radius again. So you have to eat 10 of those to grow in your radius. And the particles actually move around randomly, which is kind of cool. And if you happen to get so big that you've taken over everything, it just says you've eaten everything. And I'll let you try and play and see if you can win. It's really not that hard. I should also mention that this can probably really easily play many, if not all, of the Arduboy games that people have created. It should be easy to port them over to play on this. Okay, so part two. This is the game controller. This is really cool. This code is mostly based on uh, Adafruit's game controller code, they made like a cool game controller. So I've changed the buttons around and it's using a joystick, so. We define the buttons again for the mod boy. This side is going to be like the left button, the right button, the up button, the down button, and then we've got the return key is select and then back is the start key, escape. We define the joystick and the positions of the joystick, so this is Typical left, right, up, down, using the keyboard. So we're not actually using the joystick in this case to be a joystick, but we're just using it to be a button. Works really well for things that are like keyboard-based games. Define all the buttons as uh, internal pull-ups, as usual, because there's no resistors on this board. And then this maps the uh, joystick, and it makes sure that when you're pressing left or right, that it's actually going to press that button. 
sometimes if you press a button a certain way, it can simulate, because the Arduino is thinking so fast, you can see multiple button pushes in one push. So this doesn't let that happen. Like when you lift it off, there will only be one. So there's like a, a 600 microseconds. It's 400 here that it won't let it debounce in that amount of time. So then it'll just act like a keyboard. So if you're pressing any of these buttons, it's going to be pressing the arrow keys. So now it's a keyboard. So if we see on here, if I push these buttons, they're going to show up because it's just acting like a keyboard. That's it. That's how you make your own gaming controller with the Mod Boy. Easy as that. So yeah, as always, those files are on the GitHub if you want to get your own circuit board and then get on the Kickstarter and get your HCC module. You can do that or you can build your own HCC module. It's also on the GitHub. So that's another demo board. I'll probably be throwing a couple of these boards in some random Kickstarter backers as well. So I've got a whole bunch of everything that I'm sharing and there's gonna be more projects coming up. So be sure to subscribe as well. Anyways, everyone, I hope you enjoyed that and you can see how easy it is to build your own gaming controller and little gaming device with the HCC module. Everyone, be good and have a good day.